as an operating system, one of the biggest strong points of Android is its uh, vast customization features. Uh, things that iOS users are just now getting like uh, changing their app colors and changing their uh, icon and uh, widget settings. Uh, we've had it for over past 10 years. And what do you get when you combine 10 years of development time with a vast array of applications? A lot of variety. Android has a ton of way of customizing your home screen and one of the easiest ways to do that is to install a separate launcher. A launcher is basically what you call as a desktop on your uh, computers. Basically it's the uh, screen where all of your icons are present which um, essentially allows you to use your phone. And a launcher is just another app similar to your camera or whatsapp. It, it just runs on your phone and gives you a screen where you can touch on an icon and open it. Now just how you can have multiple apps to do the same thing like you can have uh, two different camera apps or two different SMS apps. You can have two different launchers and you can switch between them when you want. And that's what we're going to discuss today. Some of the best launchers that I found on the Google Play Store which allows you to essentially have a very nice look on your phone and uh, kind of spice things up on your older phones. First up it's a different kind of a launcher which I found. Uh, it's called Smart Launcher. It's a very colorful poppy launcher with a lot of saturated cartoony look. Uh, which gives you a fresh take on your phone. I mean, all the phones nowadays look more or less the same and I myself have been using a very minimal black and white launcher for a long time. Uh, now I personally wouldn't want these colors on my face all the time, but it's nice to use it once in a while. So the biggest thing I like about a uh, smart launcher is the uh, sheer responsiveness of this. Now nowadays all phones are pretty fast and uh, they are all very snappy, but there's just something about quick animations and uh, buttery smooth uh, effect like this that gives you a fresh take on your phone. Now I thought the launcher which came built in with this phone, that is the One UI launcher, was pretty fast and smooth. But this thing is uh, just faster than that. That kind of feels really nice. Now usually the launcher that comes with phones, especially if you have an older phone, uh, that consumes a lot of battery. So installing a third party launcher like this kind of reduces the battery usage because it's a little bit lighter application than your built in launcher. Now most of the launchers which we'll be talking about today will be uh, geared towards one handed usage, meaning that uh, they make it easy to use with one hand. And that's the same thing with the smart launcher as well. If you swipe from the bottom, you get all the uh, different folders, uh, basically the recategorized apps, and you can just swipe between them like uh, left and right, and you can just select the app you want. Of course, you can press and hold and move the apps as you want. Uh, that's pretty common, but uh, what I really like is the iconography. All the icons are rounded off and nothing seems out of place. Like that's one of my complaints with launchers. Whenever you install a third party launcher, usually they have their own icon pack. And sometimes there are a few applications that are in your phone which doesn't have a proper icon and that looks really weird. Uh, this That doesn't happen here because it just rounds off all the icons to be the same way so it looks very uniform and very nice. Now there are a few basic settings here as well. If you press and hold on the home screen uh, you get some uh, basic options here which you if you swipe up it will reveal the whole settings window. Uh, now there are a few gesture controls and a few basic hotkeys like you can uh, customize your back button or your home button to launch an application when you double press on it. But the full version of this app which is a paid version will have a lot of those features. Like for example if you want to know what are the features you can just click on the premium features option and it will list all the things that you will get with a premium subscription. There is a monthly subscription if you want which comes in at around uh, 40 rupees per month so if you want to try this for one month you can do that. Uh, of course you can cancel it any time or you can buy the lifetime license which I recommend uh, which is at around 240 rupees. Not very expensive, if you really like the launcher then you can buy it. However if you take my personal uh, suggestion then uh, I wouldn't buy this launcher because especially at the same price you have another launcher which we'll be discussing next. I'm of course talking about our uh, old favorite, uh, one of the most popular ones out there, Nova Launcher. Now I personally have used this launcher on uh, my Galaxy S7 and my Note 8 for about the past two years now and uh, only recently I switched to a new launcher which we'll discuss soon. But uh, yeah, the NOAA launcher has been the de facto standard for all phones to you know, ensure that everything looks clean. Now whenever I have a new phone or whenever I see someone struggling with their built-in launcher, NOAA has been the one that I recommend to them all the time. Now the free version is, is pretty good, it's good enough to get you started but I really recommend you buy the prime version. Uh, usually the prime version goes on sale, like I got the prime version for about 10 rupees on Christmas. So you can get a prime version for a very good discount but even if it's not at a discount it's still around 250 rupees which is not a lot of price for a, for a such a customizable launcher. Uh, you get a lot of features to uh, basically do anything you want on your home screen and your app drawer. You can change individual app icons like You can press and hold on individual icons and edit them like you can change the icons uh, image itself you can change the name to be something else. It's really up to you, you can go down and granularly change every single aspect of your home screen and your app drawer. And of course with the paid launcher you get all the gestures available to you, one finger, two finger twist and everything. Two finger twist, that's what she said. 
Now, if you think the Nova launcher is a little bit too overwhelming for you, and if you want something similar but not with as heavy customizations, then Apex launcher is something that you can look at. Apex launcher is a lot similar to Nova, but it's it's a lot more toned down and it's a lot more refined. But the only problem right off the bat is the billing. Uh, Apex launcher is not a free launcher. Uh, you only get three days of free trial, after which you have to purchase this for about I think five ninety uh, for a lifetime license. That's uh, almost twice as expensive as a Nova launcher, and I personally don't think that this is good. But the only reason why I'm recommending this to you is that there are many people who swear by this launcher because um, they say that after using it for a long time, uh, this consumes less battery than Nova launcher, and it's a lot more stable. I have encountered a few crashes with Nova launcher every now and then. Um, that's like two, three times per year, which is nothing great. But still, uh, this launcher apparently doesn't crash, and if you are purchasing a lifetime license for something, then might as well go for this. Now, if you don't want to pay for something, or if you don't want to be forced to pay for something, then uh, there is an interesting launcher uh, which I found recently. It's called Total Launcher. Um, right, right off the bat, it doesn't look like any other typical launcher. It has a circular window uh, on each screen, which where uh, where you can add apps. Basically, this is the desktop itself. Again, there's a lot more emphasis on one-hand usability. So if you swipe up from the bottom. Oh yeah, uh, you can't swipe up. There's a button here uh, which brings up the app drawer. But yeah, you can see the app drawer only comes up halfway, so it's easier for you to reach with your thumb. Almost every launcher nowadays is uh, one hand friendly, so that's great for us. Of course, there is a paid version available for Total Launcher, which unlocks all the gestures like uh, double finger. It unlocks many gestures for you if you want, but unlike Apex Launcher, you are not forced to upgrade. You can use the free version forever if you like. Now this launcher is a total departure from everything that we have talked about till now, and that's AIO launcher. AIO stands for All in One, and uh, yeah, this this launcher doesn't look like anything else you would see typically. I don't think many people would like this launcher very much because it, the, this is the home screen. It doesn't have any uh, app drawers or anything. It's just a vertical list of all the things like uh, time on top, and uh, there is a bunch of recent apps as you open. Everything is in a text-based form, and there are no icons at all. So this is meant to be like a very least uh, distracting thing, which uh, meant for people who don't want to be distracted by their phones. So this is ideally meant for you if you are constantly on your computer, on your work all the time, and if you just use your phone to essentially do something and uh, not simply browse around like we usually do. And there is a quick news feed as well, and uh, wow, there is even a Bitcoin uh, rate currency exchange uh, thing going on here. So in case you are into investment and stocks, yeah, there you go. And in case while you're checking your Bitcoin stocks, you suddenly want to run to your meeting, and uh, they ask you to record the meeting, there's a shortcut button to uh, start the voice recorder as well. So this is really meant for a, a corporate employee who is working in an environment and just uses the phone as a as a tool and not as a, a personal device. There are a bunch of cool little icons here that uh, that really looks nice, and uh, I think that's a good departure from the usual thing that we are used to seeing. You can't get this on an iPhone, that's for sure. Now this one is still under development, meaning that it's uh, an early release. Uh, it's available on Play Store for you to try out, but uh, it's not completely done yet. So you can use it and give them feedback. And I'm talking about Niagara Launcher. Now again, this launcher is a very different take on uh, Android home screen. So when you're first setting this up, it asks you which are your favorite applications, and uh, once you select your favorite apps, it uh, arranges them in a vertical order like this. So your home screen is always populated with apps, and you alphabetically sort through them by running your finger across the uh, Uh, alphabetical line that's on your right side, and there's a search bar as well. So if you want to search for something, you can do that. But yeah, that's basically the whole launcher. This is meant to be a really fun uh, kind of a very simplistic way of browsing your home screen, and I kind of like it actually. I mean, most of the things that we need are just an app which you can just search for. And what else do you need on your home screen? In case you are a person who doesn't use a lot of widgets or any shortcuts on your home screen, then this would be perfect for you. And I don't think there are any further settings that you can do on this. I mean, this is all I could find. Uh, once you grant notification uh, access to this, then you are pretty much done. That's all there is to it. And finally, let's get to my absolute favorite launcher, the one that helped me replace Nova Launcher, the Block Ratio. I've already made two videos about this, talking about all the features and the installation and walkthrough. So I, I won't cover much. I'm going to skip tour. Uh, basically, this is the definition of the best minimalist launcher out there. So this is kind of a, a interesting take on what a launcher should be. Very similar to what we just saw with the AIO launcher, where everything is in one screen. Uh, this isn't uh, as comprehensive as that. It's just a screen with apps, uh, just like every other launcher. But uh, it's a it's a very different visual experience. Like all the things are black and white, and only the ones that you want you can highlight them specifically. There are built-in features like a uh, fingerprint lock for any app, um, a whole lot of other stuff. 
and it's completely free there is no uh, hidden charges there is no full version you will get the full experience for completely free and if you want you can share it with your friends to get access to a new feature called tree where it's going to incorporate all the different social media apps that you have in one screen so it's not yet released uh, there is a kind of an invite system for it now uh, but once it is released, uh, people who are in the rank based system will get access to it first. Okay, so I guess with that we come to a conclusion of all the best launchers that we covered. I think we covered 7 or 8, I'm not sure. You know because I kept it in the title. Hopefully you found that uh, useful and uh, that will give you a kind of a different perspective and uh, help you achieve a new look on your phone. Um, Android phones nowadays last a very long time with very few customizations. Like if you have an old phone that's not running too well, a simple factory reset and installing one of these third party launchers would probably bring new life into that phone. Okay, that's all I had for now. Until next time, take good care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Cheers.